Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to this virtual online session. And let me introduce myself first. My name is Yuki Gu. I am the Renara Zani and uh, work for R. I am also the committer and the PMC member of Apache Big Top. In ARM, I focus on ARM ecosystem enablement and optimization for data science stacks on ARM. And it's pretty nice to meet you in this virtual uh, session. And this introductory session is going to talk about the Big Top 3 with the upgraded MPEG. It's the new era of uh, big data distribution. It's the agenda. Uh, first, I would like to uh, give a brief introduction of the data ecosystem and, uh, the and the some challenges and the gaps in this ecosystem for us. Then I will talk about uh, what is the big top and why we choose the big top to overcome these challenges, these gaps. The next is about uh, the new big top three and uh, what is the uh, upgraded uh, measurement packs. The last is our planning uh, for the future work. And as you know, today, uh, Big data ecosystem is more than uh, storage and uh, MapReduce framework like uh, you know, the Hadoop ecosystem. And this baby elephant outgrew its cradle. There are many components in this ecosystem and uh, we have seen the massive usage of data analysis, which also bring huge clusters. So how to lift them and uh, uh, how to take them is a challenging task for all of us. Okay, it's the introduction to these uh, Hadoop ecosystems. And uh, there are many components in this uh, Hadoop ecosystem. Um, I didn't list uh, all the Apache projects here and just to list the major components of the ecosystem here. Uh, first is the Hadoop core uh, for data processing. You know, uh, the user uh, can select either a MapReduce or a Spark as the uh, computing framework. And uh, MapReduce is the kind of computing framework which can be categorized into a map task and Reduce task, and the um, MapReduce uh, will process, uh, or the process uh, vast amounts of the data in parallel on uh, large clusters, and the MapReduce will, uh, you know, will split two tasks. One is for uh, map, map task. Map task will also split the input data set into uh, independent data chunks. In this end. This uh, MapReduce computing framework sorts the outputs of the map task and then input intermediate data into a reduced task. Then we can get the final uh, computation result. The Spark is uh, another kind of uh, computing framework. Okay, Spark is the renovation for uh, MapReduce but it could not uh, replace the MapReduce, um, you know, and for some use case scenario, like if there are huge amounts of data sets um, based on the uh, Paki, Paki is a kind of the, uh, data format uh, based on a uh, storage layer. So it's a need to uh, store the intermediate computing result in the, distribute the storage, storage layer and the trigger the disk I.O. operations. So MapReduce is suitable for, uh, suitable for this uh, use case scenario. It always used for offline data processing. <coughs> and for Spark, Spark supports machine learning, streaming, and batch processing. 
its computation is based in run and it will uh, provide 100 times faster performance than MapReduce. Spark is very suitable for online data analysis. Okay, the next is the Hadoop Young. Hadoop Young is the cluster resource management and Hadoop HDFS is the kind of distributed file systems. It provides file permission and uh, authentication. And uh, let's look at the left part of this slide is the scoop and the flume. Scoop and the flume is, is the projects for data collection and uh, ingestion. And uh, the PIP high impla is used for data analysis and uh, the uh, Kafka Storm is the project for data streaming for Mahot. Mahot is used to uh, create distributed and scalable machine learning algorithms. And for Apache Mari, Mari is convenient for users to uh, manage, monitor, deploy the Hadoop cluster. And the range and uh, Apache Knox uh, security projects in this ecosystem. And the OZ is the workflow uh, scheduler system used to manage the Hadoop jobs. For each base, each base is a NoSQL database uh, or a non relational database. It stores data in HDFS. And the base is used for random and real-time read and the right access to your big data. The last is Arrow. Uh, Apache Arrow is the data format. It, it's designed to make all things faster. And the data Arrow, uh, Apache Arrow is based on memory. You know, it will accelerate the data interchange between different worlds like Java worlds and uh, Python world. And Arrow focused on uh, speeding communication between uh, different component systems as well as it uh, process uh, data in one system. So it's the overview of the big data ecosystems. And the next, I'm going to talk about the challenges in this uh, ecosystem. You know, there are huge amounts of the uh, components for different uh, Linux distributions in this big world. And there are also you know, some dependency issues and, and satellite uh, reference issues in this ecosystem. Then those all things are uh, are the challenges to enable and validate these projects uh, on ARM platform. It's not easy to offer a full ARM support big data stack to end the users. And the users uh, may be not familiar with uh, every component in this uh, ecosystem. Even they didn't know how to use the uh, different kinds of the uh, build tools uh, like uh, Ant, Gradle, uh, Maven, GCC, and anything like that. All these things are the obstacles for newcomers and developers and the other end users. Secondly, uh, there are a huge amounts of tools requirements for this Hadoop ecosystem. Uh, you know, in this uh, ecosystem, dozens of vendors of different tools and there are too many contributions from a wide variety of different organizations and individuals. So these tools are you know, constantly evolving and keep upgrading. Then these huge amounts of tools may be not work well on R. It also needs some um, enablement patches and some um, specific uh, features and uh, optimization for ARM. So these are the challenges and gaps in front of us, uh, which need to be uh, overcome. Fortunately, there's uh, 
Apache Big Talk, uh, Big Talk could help us to overcome these challenges and gaps. And Apache Big Talk is the top level Apache project for infrastructure engineers and data scientists who are looking for packaging, and testing, and configuration of the open source big data components. And it is described what is the big top. Big top is the Apache project for infrastructure and engineers who are looking for packaging, testing, the configuration of the open source big data components. And maybe you will ask, what do people use Big, uh, Big Talk for? Uh, you can download Big Talk to build a Hadoop from the website. So you can have a running distributed Hadoop cluster to test your code. You also can uh, run the Big Talk spoke test to ensure that your cluster is working. Is working. And uh, it is the, uh, uh, Big Top feature snapshot. Okay, and uh, Big Top provides four functionality of the packaging virtualization, deployment, and testing for big data components for users to build their own big data stack from ground up. For packaging, uh, Big Top packages the Hadoop related projects into uh, RPM packages or Debian packages. And the virtualization, um, they talk provides uh, vagrant recipes, uh, raw images, and, uh, uh, and the Docker recipes uh, for deploy uh, Hadoop. And for deployment, people can use uh, Big Talk Perfect to uh, deploy a full uh, a functional distributed Hadoop system. And testing is important. so. Top provides an uh, integrated smoke test framework alongside a suite of over 50 uh, test files for users. So, Big Top is the total solution to uh, provide the big data stack. Now, um, Big Top also works uh, perfectly on uh, uh, platform. And you may also ask, so why did we choose uh, Big Top at the very beginning? Uh, first, I uh, just mentioned in the pre previous slides, uh, Big Top provides um, our own big data stack for us. It also uh, pre installed all tools which are required for many projects in the ecosystem and you know, in a huge uh, cluster. Lots of nodes that need to be configured, and the, the users maybe try more um, performance improvement configurations. Then the corresponding uh, configuration changes quite often. So we can see that uh, less human involved, uh, less mistake made. So Big Top uh, leverage the uh, Puppet framework, which is the automation tool help us to uh, deploy many ecosystem components and automate many respective tasks in huge cluster for R. And uh, the diagram on the right shows the uh, details of the big data stack powered by uh, Big Top. The stack consists system, the stack uh, consists of uh, Hadoop ecosystem components which could be packaged, configured uh, by the top uh, facility. And, uh, you know, the whole stack has been validated to our ARM platform. This is the first reason for why the top. And this is the second part for why the top. Uh, the top can embrace the ARM spe specific patch. Background is that uh, for ARM, there are some specific uh, features and uh, bug fix uh, patches that need to be merged. And uh, you know, from users' side, uh, they may be uh, they may not upgrade the uh, Hadoop stack version frequently. Uh, but there are some specific needs to fetch some uh, feature patches into their own versions. Uh, but uh, you know, from the upstream community community perspective, 
they need to take care about the backward capabilities and maintaining burden, which need much more time and efforts on it. So, you know, the guys in upstream community, they are reluctant to accept um, specific features and other requirements that patch. Uh, for a typical example, uh, in Hadoop, there are two uh, dependency modules, uh, portable buffer three and uh, portable buffer two, which come from Google's. And these two versions all didn't support ARM at first, and Google also did not release the official uh, packages for ARM in their official website and uh, memo repo. After we did a contribution to protocol buff and they released protocol buff 3.5 to support ARM, but they all, but they still are reluctant to make a minor release for uh, uh, protocol buff 2.5.1 to specially support ARM because they don't want to take time and efforts on testing, maintaining, and this version. So uh, fortunately, uh, the top could help us to uh, overcome these uh, challenges and gaps. Uh, we can add uh, you know, the R patch at any time. Okay, we can, um, all the users also uh, can fetch the official patch into their uh, current adopted versions. And the top, uh, offered, you know, the flexibility to accept the patches for um, specific need features. So it's another reason for why BigTop. And uh, it's also about why BigTop, you know, um, BigTop is the uh, open source alternative for the end users. You know, compared to some uh, commercial big data, Step like a CDH. CDH is a kind of uh, Hadoop distribution from uh, Cloudware. And BigTop is the open source software for free to end users. And many users show their interest in uh, the BigTop. First is the, uh, you know, the Wikimedia. And the Wikimedia uh, shared a blog to describe their uh, path to changing the Hadoop distribution by the top in uh, practice. And uh, um, you know, the cluster in uh, Wikimedia is they have about uh, 80 nodes uh, servers and more than 4,000 virtual CPU core and uh, 10 terabytes uh, RAM and the, the data site is, uh, is more than three uh, petabytes. So, uh, in this huge cluster, BigTop can easily handle it. And the engineer from the Wikimedia, Luca and I, also delivered a joint talk about the BigTop on uh, you know, the Apache Crown Asia just uh, on this month. Uh, the next is the Amazon. Okay? Amazon also, uh, you know, adopted the big, uh, big data stack, which, uh, which is derived from a big top. And for University of Michigan, and they acquired about 40 nodes on ARM service, ARM services, and deploy uh, the Hadoop ecosystem by our big top. They also deliberated the, the related keynote of uh, Leonardo Connect San Diego. And uh, for Huawei, Huawei and joined uh, Big Talk Open discussion uh, hosted by uh, Leonardo. And uh, they shared uh, their future Big Talk plans and the ideas for contribution. And uh, we also discussed uh, we can work together in the community to uh, enhance it and uh, resolve the, you know, the gaps and issues. In summary, uh, BigTop is the open source alternative for uh, end users and uh, 
And now many potential customers are joining BigTop communities. That's why we choose uh, BigTop. And it's about our new BigTop 3. And uh, these tables shows the packages provided for uh, major Linux distributions. Um, our Big Talk supports CentOS 7, 8, and the Fedora 33, and the Debian 9, 10, and uh, Ubuntu uh, 18 and uh, 20. And we also upgrade the components as shown in this table above. We upgrade the Hadoop to uh, 3.2 and uh, the Spark to uh, 3.0.1. And we also remove some components for the reason that these uh, projects uh, may be not uh, in compatibility with uh, Hadoop 3 or projects uh, in activity. It is our um, Big Top 3's current status. Big Top 3 has uh, not released yet, but it will release and no far future. It's the screenshots of our CS data, okay? And the metrics shows that we have already succeeded in building all com uh, components for all Linux distros and CPU architectures, except for three cases showing these uh, pictures. So we also still have some smoke test issues to be so, uh, resolved, but I, I, I expect that uh, those problems uh, would be fixed in a few weeks. We also upgraded uh, MPEGs aligned to Mari. Let me give introduce to the power, you know, the upgrade MPEGs. It, uh, it is integrated into Mari and it defines the MPEG defines a set of services and the repos where we can obtain the software packages for these services. Okay, and uh, uh, MPEG could be released as a separate architecture for users. It's uh, convenient for users to select different kinds of uh, MPEG in their clusters, uh, which also include the different uh, software services. Uh, it is the big picture of our MPEG, okay? Um, um, and Barry can manage this complex, large distributed, uh, distributed systems uh, to deploy and monitor the Hadoop related uh, projects. And uh, Barry web in, uh, interact with Barry server, and Barry server orchestrates the services on uh, Barry agent, and the services come from the software which defines in our big top impact as this uh, picture show. Um, big top summary, and uh, we first really uh, provided a uh, stack for uh, Hadoop 3 and the Spark 3, and we also newly support some uh, Linux dist distributions. And we also upgrade our uh, impacts. We also uh, consummate some smoke test framework for the top. Okay, the last is the, our planning. We plan to migrate to Hadoop 3 and up, upgrade our big top and pack. We also follow up the JTK 11 adoption status for upstream. So we also would like to uh, leverage the, the vector API in Hadoop ecosystem uh, for, um, okay. A vector API is, uh, Part of a vector operation to improve the uh, uh, performance. Okay, and um, that's all for today's sharing. Uh, thanks for listening.